The same-sex marriage plebiscite has been scuttled after Labor formally opposed it, but Bill Shorten is unlikely to get his free parliamentary vote, with the issue now expected to be delayed until the next election. Here's Lane Calcutt. Bill Shorten, a hero to same-sex families. <laughs> Delivering the vote to kill off the plebiscite. Thank you very much. No, after so much debate, it took Labor MPs just minutes to make it official. The caucus unanimously resolved to oppose the marriage plebiscite. It'd be, he said, expensive, non-binding, but most of all, divisive and damaging. Why should gay Australians be subjected to a different lawmaking process than any other of our Australians? Trying to subvert a straightforward democratic process, he doesn't want the Australian people to have a say on any terms. Well, we do, we have a mandate for it, and we are asking the Senate to do its job and support it. But with Labor, the Greens and enough crossbenchers opposed, it's done and dusted. This morning, the Labor Party has driven a stake through the heart of marriage equality. We will wait to make sure that people are okay in the way that marriage equality is pursued. We can now, as a parliament, come together and do what we should always have done, and that is to legislate for marriage equality. Malcolm Turnbull didn't rule out a free vote, but he can't afford to anger coalition conservatives with one already sounding a warning. My support for the government is conditional that we honour our election commitments. Will you allow a free vote in this parliament? The Senate has to deal with the bill. So what is your plan B, Prime Minister? Liberals concede the plebiscite's dead, but the issue isn't that it'll have to be confronted again before the next election. With Malcolm Turnbull wedged between moderates who want same-sex marriage and Conservatives who don't. Thanks very much. Lane Kelcutt, Nine News.